Uh, today's lesson is going to be on uh, transforming circles and ellipses. And for both of these, the parent function is x squared plus y squared equals 1. So we're going to be starting with that and then transforming it for all of the different situations that we have today. So if we're given the, <clears throat> the problem of uh, x squared plus 1, or x squared plus y squared equals 1, and told to translate it up for, <clears throat> up for and left 3, then dilate uh, horizontally by 6 and vertically by 2. We need to identify all of the various parts in this. Um, and if you remember, the general form of an ellipse, or, well, general form of an ellipse, is x minus h quantity squared divided by a squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Now for this, the center point of the ellipse is going to be at the point h comma k, and a is going to be the horizontal scale factor, and b is the vertical scale factor. For this example, uh, since we are asked to translate up 4 and left 3, h is going to equal positive 4, and no, I'm sorry, k is going to equal positive 4. Give me a second. k equals 4, and h equals negative 3, because we're going left, so h is negative. Now, a is the amount that we dilate horizontally. So since we're told to dilate horizontally by 6, a is 6, and b is the vertical dilation, and we're told to dilate vertically by 2, so b is 2. So the equation for this um, ellipse is going to be x minus h, oh, I'm sorry, x minus negative uh, 3, so since it's x minus negative 3, it becomes x plus 3 squared divided by 6 squared plus y minus k. So since k is 4, it's going to be y minus 4 squared divided by b squared, which in this case is 2. So 2 squared equals 1. And then we can simplify the 6 squared and 2 squared so we get our final answer of the quantity of x plus 3 squared divided by 36 plus the quantity of y minus 4 squared divided by 4 equals 1. <clears throat> Excuse me, equals 1. Okay, so we have the equation from that problem, and it tells us that uh, it's x plus 3 quantity squared over 36 plus y minus 4 quantity squared over 4 equals 1. And again, we need to point out the h again is, in this case, the negative 3. k is 4, which tells us that our center point is going to be at negative 3, comma 4. So if we're graphing, we would go 3 to the left and up 4. And then for the a, we've got 6, which means we're going to go from that center point 6 units to the left, Oops. 6 units to the left, and 6 units to the right. And then since b is 2, we're going to go up 2 and down 2. And then we'll connect those four points with our ellipse. And that's not the best ellipse in the world, but it'll do for the purposes of this. So that would be a graph of that ellipse for us um, that we transformed using the problem we were given. In this example, again, we are given the x squared plus y squared equals 1. And now we're told to translate it up to and write 5. And we're told to dilate it by 3. It doesn't give us a horizontal or vertical direction. It just tells us we're dilating by 3, which we can imply to mean that we are supposed to dilate in both directions. 
And in this case, we're going to get a circle instead of an ellipse. So we're going to use the equation x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals the radius squared. So for this one, we need to identify our h value, our k value, and our radius. Since we're asked to translate up 2, that means that k will be a positive 2. We're asked to translate right 5, so k will be, or h will be a positive 5. And we're asked to dilate it by 3, so the radius is going to be 3. So when I plug into the equation, I get x minus h, and since h is 5, I have x minus 5 squared plus the quantity of y minus k. And since k is 2, I plug that in, square it, and then the radius is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So now we're going to go ahead and graph this one, and our center point would be at 5, 2, because h is 5 and k is 2. And the radius is 3, because the square root of 9 is 3. So to plot my center point, I'm going to go to the right 5 and up 2. And then from that center point, since the radius is the same in all directions, I'm going to go up 3, right 3, down 3, and left 3. So I have those four points. And then I can connect those four points with my circle. And there you go. That would be the graph of that equation. So I'd like, thanks, uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to check out my website at mrmomfrey.weebly.com, or shoot me an email at mrmomfrey at gmail.com, or you can always get a hold of me at Twitter at, at uh, mr underscore monfrey. So thanks for watching.